Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. Um, I've got an American lager to review for you today and it's uh, a craft American lager. So you might not be too familiar with these guys. Um, this is from Lord Hobo who are in uh, Massachusetts and this is their 617 lager. 617 being the area code of Boston, Massachusetts and the surrounding areas. Um, I had some really good beers from Lord Hobo when I was out in Boston uh, a couple of months back. Uh, but one of them I didn't have was the lager. And I brought this one home with me because I was keen to try it. Uh, it's coming in at 5.5% ABV. I don't know anything about this beer really. I don't know if it's a traditional lager or if it's kind of a German inspired lager or if it's a, a kind of a Boston style lager like the Samuel Adams or something like that. It has no flavour profile or flavour text or anything to speak about on the can. It has a little bit about the brewery and their address and all that stuff, but there's nothing about it. So I genuinely don't know what's going to come out of this can. So I'm very excited. So 5.5% lager, Lord Hobo. Drank some wicked IPAs and pale ales from them guys when I was out there. Double IPAs, really good beers from them. And uh, I found this can. I bought this in Fenway Beers, right by the, uh, the baseball park and uh, picked up some really good beers in there. I'm gonna chuck this one in my Budvar lager glass. I'm gonna give it an aggressive finish to the pour. Let out some of that carbonation. Open her up a bit. And it is, it looks like a, a traditional lager with a slight haze to it. It's definitely a crafty lager, but it certainly looks the part. Looks the part in the glass, lovely kind of lemon drop sort of colored lager. Nice haze to it, good levels of carbonation. We got a relatively thick, I'd say a one finger, just about of creamy looking white head, but it looks really, really good. Let's get me snouting, see what the aromas are telling us. And it's got quite a multi aroma. I get the feeling this is gonna be a full bodied kind of, um, I think this is going to be like a German inspired lager, going on that aroma, sort of German inspired. But at the same time, there's already quite a sort of a crisp, fresh aroma, which is very American, let's be honest. Smells like a nice balance of the two. Let's get stuck here, shall we? Cheers. Oh. Oh, that's bloody brilliant. Oh, what a cracking lager. <laughs> what a cracking lager. Where, where am I? That is belting. That is belting. Oh. Nicely bodied. Coats the palate. There is a, a citrus bitterness. Crisp citrus bitterness. Which straight away refreshes. Quenches the thirst. And all the while, the palate is completely coated in this stuff. It has that sort of malty, bready, German style thing going on to it. And then there's a nice subtle spiciness to it as well. It's a beautifully balanced lager. That is cracking. Wow. That's easily one of the best lagers I've had for a while. Goodness me. They are brewing some incredible beers in America at the moment. It really are. Lagers, I think, have been the thing that surprised me the most about the Americans. You know, their IPAs are incredible. We know that. That's a given. There's no debate in that. But I didn't realise their lagers were as good as they are. This is going to be gone in no time. I mean, that's a, an American pint. American pint cans, slightly bigger than the 440s, but not as big as our pints. That's going down far too easily. That is a gloriously drinkable lager. The body on it is terrific. It's almost, um, it's smooth. It's almost creamy, but, but that without sort of taking anything away from the carbonation, there is a nice sort of rush of fizz. But then this full bodied bready malt really kicks in. And it beautifully coats your palate and makes it really easy drinking. Like I say, a lovely sort of citrusy, dry, sort of slightly peppery finish to it at the back end. 
before that is a very subtle sort of buttered bread and touch of citrus that just quenches the thirst. It, it's glorious. That is a stunning lager. Stunning lager. I've got no issues with that whatsoever. New England born and brewed. Brilliant. I'm going to have to visit the brewery next time I go over there. They're in uh, Woburn. Woburn, Massachusetts, which I didn't go to. Um, but uh, it can't be too far away from the Boston, Boston area. Mm. Definitely a brewery I'll have to visit because I've not had a bad beer from them. And I drank some absolutely worldies when I was out there from uh, from Lord Hobo. The um, what was it called? The Boom Juice, Boom Juice Double IPA. Any Lord Hobo drinkers will know what I'm talking about. The Boom Juice Double IPA. That is poor. That's a bloody good beer. <laughs> and that is also a very, very good beer. Lord Hobo 617. 617 crew. There's your lager. Lord Hobo, Wober, Massachusetts. I love that. That's a properly good beer. On a, a nice warm afternoon in Boston, that's probably the ideal thing if you're watching the game. Um, I think that's class. I really do. I think that's a really class lager. It's cheered me up. Um, I'm going to give that a solid 10 out of 10. Sod it. First 10 out of 10 of the year. Lord Hobo. From Woburn, Massachusetts, the United States, 617 Lager. That is how you brew a lager. That's exceptional. Love that. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I do appreciate it. Until my next one, you take care.